Have you ever considered the tremendous speeds that aircraft can travel? Well, hold on to your seatbelts as we travel back in time to trace the evolution of aviation from its humble origins to today's cutting-edge advancements. Humanity's continuous desire of speed has led us to construct incredible flying machines that push the boundaries of what we previously thought was possible. From aircraft that travel twice the speed of sound to air-breathing aircraft, here are the 12 fastest manned aircraft ever made on Earth. Number 12. Tornado Air Defense Variant The Panavir Tornado Air Defense Variant was a long-range, twin-engine swing-wing interceptor aircraft developed by the European Panavir Aircraft Consortium. It was initially developed in 1976, with the primary goal of intercepting Soviet bombers as they flew across the North Sea, in order to prevent a successful air-launched nuclear attack against the United Kingdom. As a result, it was equipped with powerful radar and long-range missiles. Development was relatively quick because it was based on the International Tornado IDS. It had a range of 4,265 km and could travel at a top speed of Mark 2.27. A total of 194 Tornado Air Defense Variant aircraft were produced, but most of them have been retired from their air defense role and taken over by the Eurofighter. Number 11. Grumman F-14 Tomcat. The F-14 Tomcat is a supersonic strike fighter, crafted by the Grumman Aircraft Corporation. It had its maiden flight in 1970 and embarking on its first mission in 1974 aboard the legendary USS Enterprise, swiftly replacing the F-4 Phantom II in the US Navy's arsenal. With its variable sweep wing design, it became the backbone of the Navy's maritime air superiority, fleet defense, and tactical aerial reconnaissance operations well into the 2000s. Armed with an array of air-to-ground and air-to-air -air missiles, the F-14 outperformed many of its contemporaries at the time. With a top speed of Mark 2.34 and an extended range of 3,000 km, a total of 712 F-14 aircraft faithfully served the US Navy for 32 years, before being succeeded by the Boeing Super Hornet. However, it still continues to soar in the skies in the Iranian Air Force. Number 10. Mikoyan MiG-23 The MiG-23 was the Soviet Union's answer to American fighters such as the F-4 Phantom II. To harness the benefits of high-speed flight and enhance slow-speed performance while reducing takeoff and landing distances, the Soviets ingeniously adopted a swing-wing design inspired by the American F-111. Production commenced in 1969 and soared to impressive heights with over 5,000 MiG-23 aircraft being built. This remarkable feat earned it the distinction of being the most produced variable sweep-wing aircraft in history, with a blazing maximum speed of Mark 2.35 and an impressive ferry range of 2,820 km. Although it served in various versions within the Soviet Air Force and numerous other air forces worldwide, it fell short of fulfilling its initial promise to replace the MiG-21. Production ceased in 1982, and it was gradually retired from service in Russia after being succeeded with the MiG-29. Number 9. Sukhoi Su-27 Flanker The Su-27 is a Russian supermaneuverable fighter aircraft designed by Sukhoi to counter the American-made F-14 Tomcat and F-15 Eagle. It was meticulously crafted to excel in air superiority missions and swiftly proved its versatility as a formidable fighter jet. It took to the skies in 1982, and it became an integral part of the former Soviet Union Air Force, guarding the nation's borders against American B-52 and B-1B bombers while also providing escort to Soviet Air Force bombers. Production of this aircraft began in 1982 and continues to this day, with over 680 units produced. 
While it predominantly serves the Russian Air Force, its reach extends far and wide, gracing the fleets of numerous countries across the globe. The Su-27 demonstrates its ability in the sky with a top speed of Mark 2.35, and a range of 3,530 kilometers. Number 8. F-111 Aardvark. The General Dynamics F-111 Aardvark is a medium-range interdictor and tactical strike aircraft that also fills the roles of strategic bomber, reconnaissance, and electronic warfare in its various versions. It pioneered revolutionary features such as variable sweep wings, after-burning turbofan engines, and automated terrain following RAID are for low-level high-speed flights. Its revolutionary design left an indelible impact, shaping the development of subsequent variable sweep-wing aircraft while inspiring the adoption of its advanced features in other models. It had an impressive top speed of Mark 2.5 and a remarkable ferry range of 5,940 kilometers, it entered service with the United States Air Force in 1967 and proudly served with over 600 aircraft. Despite being affectionately nicknamed the Pig by some, this aircraft fulfilled its duties admirably. It was officially retired in 1998 and made way for the arrival of the F-15E Strike Eagle. Number 7 F-15 Eagle The F-15 Eagle is a classic multi-role strike fighter that proudly serves as the backbone of the United States Air Force. This unique aircraft is renowned for its remarkable track record, having accomplished over 100 wins without a single loss, overcoming the odds in numerous battles it has encountered. Originally designed as an air superiority fighter, the F-15 demonstrated its flexibility by evolving into a deadly strike fighter. Boasting impressive speeds, the F-15 Eagle undoubtedly secures its place among the world's fastest fighter jets, with a documented top speed of Mark 2.54 and an extensive ferry range of 5,600 kilometers. Since its production commenced in 1972, the F-15 continues to be manufactured to this day with over 1,200 aircraft proudly taking to the skies. Number 6. MiG-31 Foxhound. The Mikoyan MiG-31 is a supersonic interceptor aircraft developed for the Soviet Air Forces by the Mikoyan Design Bureau as a replacement for the earlier MiG-25 Foxbat. The MiG-31 is based on and share design elements to the MiG-25, this interceptor was designed to engage high-flying and high-speed aircraft, such as Lockheed SR-71 reconnaissance planes. Back in 1977, it stunned everyone when it set a new altitude record of 123,530 feet. With its impressive speed, high altitude, and a fast rate of climb, it became a force to be regarded. It is equipped with an advanced long-range radar that possesses the capability to engage multiple targets simultaneously. It has a top speed of Mark 2.83 and a ferry range of 5,400 km. Its production commenced in 1975 and concluded in 1994, resulting in 519 aircraft being manufactured. Presently, it continues to serve in the Russian and Kazakh Air Forces with expectations of remaining in active duty until 2030 and possibly beyond. Number 5. Mikoyan Ye-152 The Ye-152 was a single-engine Soviet experimental aircraft developed during the Cold War. It was an advanced high-speed interceptor and research platform. It had a delta wing configuration and was capable of supersonic speeds. The Ye-152 served as a precursor to the MiG-25 Fox Bat and contributed to the development of supersonic flight technology. While capable of reaching speeds up to Mark 2.85 and covering ranges of 1,470 km, the Ye-152 faced challenges with engine reliability and effectiveness. 
the Soviet Union eventually decided to opt for the A-150 family with two engines instead of one. Tragically, the A-152 test craft met its demise when it had a crash in 1995. Number 4. North American XB-70 Valkyrie The North American Aviation XB-70 Valkyrie was the prototype version of the planned B-70 nuclear-armed, deep-penetration supersonic strategic bomber for the United States Air Force Strategic Air Command. Designed in the late 1950s by North American Aviation, the six-engine Valkyrie was capable of cruising for 6,899 kilometers at a speed of Mark 3.1 while flying at 70,000 feet. At these speeds, it was expected that the B-70 would be practically immune to interceptor aircraft, the only effective weapon against bomber aircraft at the time. The bomber would spend only a brief time over a particular radar station, flying out of its range before the controllers could position their fighters in a suitable location for an interception. Its high speed made the aircraft difficult to see on radar displays, and its high altitude and high speed capabilities could not be matched by any contemporaneous Soviet interceptor or fighter aircraft. However, with the advancement of surface-to-air missiles, the Valkyrie developed a weakness, so the United States Air Force started conducting lower-level test flights. But the Valkyrie offered little additional performance over the B-52, which it was designed to replace and was subsequently cancelled after two prototypes were built. Number 3. Bell X-2 Starbuster the Bell X-2 was an X-plane research aircraft built to investigate flight characteristics of aircraft at speeds of Mark II to Mach 3 range. It was a rocket-powered, swept-wing research aircraft developed jointly in 1945 by Bell Aircraft Corporation, the United States Air Force, and the National Advisory Committee for Aeronautics to explore aerodynamic problems of supersonic flight and to expand the speed and altitude regimes obtained with the earlier X-1 series of research aircraft. It was able to achieve a stunning speed of Mark 3.196 in 1956. However, soon after this speed was attained, the pilot made a sharp turn and the aircraft tumbled out of control. He could not regain control of the aircraft and bailed out. Unfortunately, only the small parachute of the escape shuttle was opened, and he hit the ground at a high speed. This fatal crash ended the Starbuster program. Number 2. Lockheed Dessa 71 Blackbird The Lockheed Dessa 71 Blackbird, which was built by both the US Air Force and NASA, holds the speed record for the fastest air-breathing manned aircraft with a maximum speed of Mark 3.3 and a ferry range of 5,230 kilometers. The Blackbird was designed as a reconnaissance plane with the primary goal of acquiring intelligence. The jet carried no weapons and lacked the stealth capabilities of other aircraft in the United States inventory. Instead, the Blackbird's answer to surface-to-air missiles and other sorts of attacks was simply to outrun the armament which it was far more capable of achieving. A total of 32 aircraft were produced, with 12 being lost in accidents and known being lost due to enemy action. Sadly, the US Air Force retired the Blackbird largely for political reasons. Several were briefly reactivated during the 1990s before their second retirement in 1998. Aerojet X-15 the Aerojet X-15 holds the extraordinary title of being the fastest manned aircraft in the world. Back in 1967, under the skilled piloting of William Peter Knight, it achieved an astonishing maximum speed of Mark 6.70, making Knight the fastest person in motion. To maintain stability at such mind-boggling velocities, the X-15 sported an imposing wedge tail. However, this design choice came with a trade-off. At lower speeds, the drag generated by the tail was considerable. Therefore, 
the IT had to be carried by a B-52 Strata 4 Tris to an altitude of approximately 14,000 meters before being dropped, igniting its own engines. Just picture yourself sitting in a 15-meter rocket, waiting to be released undoubtedly. It pushed boundaries so far that it forewent conventional means of steering, such as using drag on a fin, and instead relied on rocket thrusters. This innovation allowed it to soar to altitudes exceeding 100 kilometers, earning the aircraft yet another world record. As always, thank you for watching. You can give us a video suggestion by commenting in the comment section for a video you would wish us to create. And if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe and watch more by clicking on the end screens on the video.